Yo, objectionable creationism. In a modern-day Scopes trial, Kitzmiller versus Dover, the argument evolved into whether creationism should be taught alongside evolution. To have creationism taught in schools, creationists hid their ulterior religious motivation. That was exposed, and creationism expunged since our laws, uh, I live in the United States, dictate separation of church and state. Now, Bible fundamentalists insist that Earth, uh, uh, quote-unquote, created in six 24-hour days, is around 6,000 years old. Some condemn old Earth creationists who don't take the Genesis account literally. This causes many to dismiss creationism entirely. And Earth's age, shape, or travel through space are inconsequential as far as how life came about, how it's sustained, and where creation is headed. The essence is not changed one iota. Moreover, most creationists try to gather evidence to fit their Bible instead of following the evidence wherever it leads. Worse yet, some base their creationism only on the Bible, convincing nobody. And the universe is not uh, fine-tuned. The vast majority of the observable universe is chaotic and completely inhospitable to life. Creationists may represent the odds against various life forms originating by chance as an astronomical number with hundreds of zeros in blankety chalkboard with it, supposedly awing and overwhelming unbelievers. Atheists uh, capitalize on this, declaring that with an infinite amount of time or an infinite number of, of universes, uh, the odds would actually be against their not originating. Despite intelligent comebacks, uh, creationists are sent on a tangent like trying to pick up a barrel of spill, spilled marbles. The argument essentially concedes that, though infinitesimally unlikely, life possibly uh, originated or appeared without God. Rather, no, it's impossible. Besides, macroevolution would have nothing to do with chance or improbability. If anything complex needed God to have arisen because of its extreme unlikelihood, then God would necessarily need to be even more complex and therefore be even more unlikely to exist. I believe, just for me, I believe in an ultra-complex God and understand, and I do have an understanding of evolutionary theory. Therefore, I do not uh, refute my own position. Summarily, declaring that creationism is true is like stating that great scientific and engineering minds created the nuclear submarine while, de on the contrary, while declaring exactly how it, uh, they were put together, how long they took, and their functional intricacies is far different. Removing, removing presumptions on how uh, God created life removes the difficulty. Uh, the difficulties, sneaky strategies, special pleading, showcasing close similarities among various species while ignoring their differences seems compelling, such as comparing people and apes, especially uh, with this one guy I knew with terrible body odor who, who could be considered a missing link. <laughs> uh, rather, many things bear remarkable resemblance, uh, such as water and gasoline, Blood and transmission fluid and bratwurst and poo. <laughs> Yet they are dramatically different, or, or at least I hope you realize that. Uh, ad hominem fallacy is ignoring another person's argument and instead attacking their character. Evolutionists claim to be smarter than uh, so-called hill, hillbilly, stupid idiots, and various ordinary people. Yet I could comparatively intertwine evolution's Big Bang Theory with an ignorant ancient belief that the universe hatched out of a cosmic egg since it bears uncanny resemblance. But instead of calling people names, we can say that people believe what they want to believe in order to suit themselves. And most people are like that. It's a fact. Common sense. Pigeonholing. It's decried that uh, so-called scientific creationism originated in the 20th century, late 20th century, with Protestant evangelicals. However... Uh, scientific creationism, uh, or so-called, wasn't needed, was not needed all these years because we didn't have aggressive opposition wide, uh, from on a massive scale 
uh, the opposition on a massive scale from uh, atheistic scientists and others. You can be a creationist and have never heard of the bi the Bible, despite most creationists being Bible uh, fundamentalists. Forms of creationism, other forms, have been postulated throughout a recorded history. Straw man argument. Debates uh, devolve, ironically, into trying to refute Genesis's uh, 3,500, or how old, however old it is, year old... Uh, some say 3,000, over 3,000 year old creationist view, which many unfortunately use as a scientific textbook instead of focusing on 21st century creationist arguments. That's like comparing modern evolutionary theory to the ancient evolutionary theory of spontaneous generation, such as leaves birthing frogs, or the subsequent theory of bears being a man's immediate ancestor. Double standard. An evolutionist told me, don't pretend what you believe is based on anything other than faith, which cannot be tested for reproducible results. True. However, evolution, which cannot be tested for reproducible results, is, they call that as factual as gravity. Bias indeed. Bias indeed. And merely teaching that an intelligent Designer exists is not religion. Religion is a, a systematic discipline. Think about, you know, research that. Uh, America's founding fathers accepted a creator as they accepted gravity. They did a, a, some of them did object to organized religion, but like I said, that's a different uh, subject. What they're linked, but they're different. Certainly, what they dem demanded was that church doctrine be separated from secular institutions. Since neo-Darwinism cannot be replicated in lab experiments any more than creationism can, in fairness, schools uh, should teach both creationism and evolution, or neither. Okay, splitting here. Some complain that creationists see evolution as evolving from goo or, or monkeys instead of a primordial, like my buddy, <laughs> buddy over there, <laughs> Yeah. Um, oops. Uh, a, instead of a primordial super ape like man, others state that one species does not evolve into another. They split into two species. Others cry that it's it's not evolution or neo Darwinism. It's evo devo. Okay, whatever. That's all irrelevant to my creationist argument. My point is God designed and originated life, not living matter or creatures themselves. Fake empathy. Religious folks are sometimes encouraged to celebrate their faith and are welcome to believe that God was the first cause that started the Big Bang and macroevolution. This is like a waiter gobbling up your steak and leaving the meat juice saying, you're welcome to call that a steak. And don't think for a moment that evolutionary scientists are, are, are not seeking a scientific explanation for the first cause. Besides, neo-Darwinism completely contradicts Christ's teachings. Jesus taught that God created humans as male and female. And according to neo-Darwinism, from, from the beginning, asexual life forms, neither male nor female, evolved into us. Creationists often use similar sneaky strategies, but I have no affinity with other creationists. I stand alone. Furthermore, even if neo-Darwinism were, were true, that's an overemphasis on its accompanying fields of anthropology, paleontology, and such like. What matters more is mastering universal life skills and gaining knowledge to help make the world a better place. Stay tuned for part seven, which will be the last part.